Hello everyone and welcome back again dear friends hope you are all doing well so this is the last uh, question from the model uh, paper 2 model 5th okay we are discussing the problem is on probability right so test the hypothesis that the data follow a binomial distribution given that chi square or sometimes it is called as chi square don't be confused most of the students will be telling uh, what Mohsin is saying over here that is chi square we are not understanding so this is chi square or chi square okay so chi square at 5 degrees of freedom 0 0.05 that is 5 percent level of significance it is given as 11.07 right so at set of 5 similar coins is tossed 320 times and the result is given so number of heads are this one 0 1 2 3 4 5 frequency is given 6 27 7 2 1 1 2 7 1 32 this means that no head is no head is coming 6 times one head is coming 27 times uh, and uh, two heads are coming 72 times, three heads are coming 112 times, and four heads are coming 71 times, five heads are coming 32 times. When a coin is tossed 320 times, okay, I hope you are getting. So, what we were doing, uh, I, I have told you that wherever you will find chi square, uh, that is the problem on chi square distribution or chi square distribution. But here is the uh, in the problem it is mentioned that the data follow a binomial distribution so what would what we were doing so far in the chi square distribution problem here is little bit difference we have to use uh, the formula from the binomial distribution in order to find the expected value what we were calculated in the uh, chi square distribution simply over there okay so in this uh, problem uh, write down the solution given this chi square is equal to 11.07 okay at 5 degrees of freedom as i earlier told told you in the previous video that uh, how you are calculating the degrees of freedom number of entities minus 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, is the number so i can say that degrees of freedom df is equal to uh, 6 minus 1 so that is your 5 that is what in the question it has mentioned 5 degrees of freedom 0 0.05 that is 5 percent level of significance right so binomial distribution is given by p of x is equal to n c x p raised power x q raised power n minus x now the question is how we can calculate p and q this is the formula it will be given in your handbook this is binomial distribution so n c x p raised power so probability we have to calculate p value you know already when a coin is tossed so there is the probability of 50 percent right so i can write down p is equal to 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 50 percent right and uh, in order to calculate q value we know that already p plus q is equal to 1 this is uh, probability of an event plus probability of not an event is equal to 1 so in this case it is the probability of head plus probability of tail is equal to 1 okay so i can write down q is equal to 1 minus p so q is equal to 1 minus p value is 0 0.5 so q value will be also uh, 0 0.5 over here right so in order to calculate expected number of frequencies what we are usually calculated in the chi square distribution problem in this uh, particular case you have to uh, calculate the expected number with the help of a formula okay so f of x is equal to n of p of x what is this n value it is given in here 320 times a coin is tossed so n is equal to 320 okay and p of x here is a formula already i have written over here that is n c x p raised power x q raised power n minus x okay i can write down here instead of n 320 multiplied by n c x p raised power x q raised power n minus x so what is this small n okay we have to take this small n as this one okay this is your degree of freedom so n value is in this case 5 right so i can write down the equation i can write down 320 multiplied by 5 c x and p value is 0 0.5 raised power x multiplied by 0 0.5 raised power n minus n means 5 minus x okay this is the equation now you have to put now you have to calculate the values okay so this where this x value is given 0 1 2 3 4 5 so in the next see here x value i have taken 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 now you have to calculate accordingly uh, by putting the x value 0 1 2 3 4 see here in the calculator how you can calculate okay so this is your 320 multiplied by n n c x 5 c x it is it is 5 c x okay so 5 shift divide x value i have to put uh, first of all i will take x as it is okay i will fix the equation so multiplied by 0.5 raised power x 0.5 raised power alpha x okay then multiplied by 0.5 raised power 5 minus x right this is your 5 minus x this is the equation which i have set over here now i have to put down the values accordingly so uh, you can just put here calc at x is equal to 0 you will get the value as 10 so i have written it over here as f of 1 is equal to 10 now take the value uh, x as 1 over here okay you will get the value 
50 so f of 2 is equal to 50 right then you have to take the value uh, x is equal to 2 x is equal to 2 you will get the value as 100 so f of t is equal to 100 then take the value as x value as t you will get the value as 100 f of 4 is equal to 100 then x is equal to 4 you will get the value as 50 so f of 5 is equal to 50 and next one is your x is equal to 5 you will get the value as 10 so f of 6 is equal to 10 i hope you are getting my point now these are the experimental or expected values okay so observed values is equal to 627 it is given in the problem see here 627 72 112 7132 these are the observed values okay so i have written it over here then experimental values we have calculated here 10 50 100 100 50 10 so 10 50 100 100 50 and 10 then as usual you have to follow the formula that is chi square is equal to summation of oi minus that is observed value minus expected value divided by expected value okay this is the equation so chi square is equal to what is the observed value 6 minus expected is 10 so 6 minus 10 whole square divided by expected value is 10 divided by 10 plus 27 minus 50 27 minus 50 divided by expected value that is 50 whole square plus 72 minus 100 whole square divided by 100 plus 112 minus 100 divided by 100 okay plus 71 minus 50 whole square divided by 50 then 32 minus 10 whole square divided by 10 while calculating this much if you calculate this one you will get chi square is equal to 78.62 so we can write down since chi square is equal to 78.68 is greater than chi square at 5 degrees of freedom at 0 0.5 sorry 5 percent level of significance it is given in the problem which is equal to 11.07 so it is greater than therefore our hypothesis our hypothesis is rejected in this case okay if we are getting the value greater than the given value then hypothesis will be rejected if we are getting value less than uh, then the hypothesis will be accepted. I hope the, uh, you have understood this concept very well over there. If you have some doubts, you can ask in the comment section. I wish you all the best for your examinations. Thank you.